Choo-choo and friends in story time! Choo-choo <laughs> and Cha-Cha were always very polite. They always spoke kindly to the workers in the house. Good morning! Good morning, kids! Thank you for making our garden so beautiful! You are welcome! But Kasli was always very rude. Huh? Hey, you! Get out of my way! Huh? Huh? Ew! You're so stinky! Huh? Huh? Leave the garden! Now! Huh? Huh? Ew! This soup tastes awful! You're a terrible, terrible cook! Huh? Huh? Kusli's mother was very disappointed in him. She wanted him to be polite and kind and respect everyone. So, one day, she asked the janitor, the garbage collector, the gardener, and the cook not to come to work. Please, take a holiday for a few days. Don't come to work. I want Cusley to learn how important and helpful you all are. Yeah. The next day, Cusley found that the house was very dirty. Ew! Ugh! There's so much garbage lying around. Where is Steven? Why hasn't he picked it up? Cusley, Stephen won't be coming anymore. You will have to clean the house on your own. Huh? And so, Cusley had to clean up his own mess. The hard work made Cusley very hungry. He sat at the table and asked for lunch. I'm very hungry. Andy, get me my lunch. I'm sorry, Cusley, but Andy won't be coming anymore. You'll have to make your own lunch. What? So, Cusley had to make his own lunch. And when Cusley went to throw the garbage out, he found that the garbage can was already completely full and that it was making everything very stinky. Ew! Where is Sandy? Why hasn't he emptied the garbage can? There's so much garbage in it. It's making everything very stinky. Sandy won't be coming anymore, Cusley. From now on, You'll have to empty the garbage on your own. Huh? And so, Cusley had to empty the garbage can on his own. Ew! This garbage is making me so stinky! Cusley then went to the garden to get some fresh air.
But he found that the flowers were drooping and that there were weeds growing all over. Huh? What's happened to the garden? Flowers are drooping. And there are weeds growing everywhere. I'm sorry, Cusley. But Julian won't be coming anymore. You'll have to take the weeds out and water the plants yourself. Huh? And so, Cusley had to look after the garden on his own. come today? When will they be back? Cusley, don't you remember? You were very rude to them all. They work very hard for us. I don't think they'll come back unless you decide to be polite. Huh? Cusley's mother then helped him to see how hard everyone worked. All these people work so hard for us, Cusley. But you've never cared about them or had a kind word for them. I'm sorry, Mom. I now understand how hard they work. I promise I'll be polite and kind and show them that I care. Please ask them to come back. Hmm. Later that day, Cusley spent his time writing thank you notes. The next morning, Cusley went out with his mother and bought flowers and gifts. And the next day, when Stephen, Julian, Sandy, and Andy came to the house, Cusley spoke to them very politely. is for you! Thank you for keeping my house clean! Thank you, Cusley! This is for you, Julian! I know that you work very hard to make the garden beautiful! Thank you! Sandy! You are very important! Thank you for taking the garbage away! delicious food you make. And I'm sorry that I was rude to you all. It's okay, Cusley. After that day, Cusley always spoke politely and kindly to all of the workers. His manners made everyone happy. Yummy! And Cusley's mother felt very proud of him.